Hi Adara and welcome listeners. Today I have a short and creepy story to share with you, just like always. Today I will be tackling the Grey Lady of the Cavalier. It's another Eastern Canada ghost story. This specific story was featured on Canada Post 2015 collection of Haunted Canada stamps, very similar to the last episode of the Dungarvan Hooper, which was featured on the 2016 version of the stamps. If you haven't seen that story yet, there will be a link at the end of the video. I hope I'm pointing the right way. I don't, I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into our story. Our story begins in Halifax. For all you non-Canadians out there, Halifax is the capital city of a little maritime province on the eastern coast of Canada called Nova Scotia. The city itself is dominated by an 1850s citadel. It's a star-shaped fort that sits atop a hill looking over the city. It is now a National Historic Site and is a big tourist attraction in the area. However, the people don't just visit for the fantastic historical views of an old fort. They're also there for the ghost. The Grey Lady has been a famous site around the fort for many years. According to a CTV article, security guards, staff, and visitors all claim to see a woman in gray or white wandering around the citadel, sometimes smelling like flowers. According to Halifax Magazine, an employee had the most vivid sighting of this apparition while working a shift. The employee usually sits at the very end of the building in a chair, and he's there to kind of greet customers as they come in. And one time he saw a customer come in and it was a lady wearing gray. So he went to stand up to greet her. And when he stood up and looked up, she was no longer there. This employee apparently saw her a few more times in the same outfit she was wearing before, but she would disappear before he had a chance to talk to her. Now keep watching because the history behind this spirit is pretty interesting, but also pretty sad. After some research was done on the Citadel, it was concluded that this woman could be someone named Cassie Allen. In the early 1900s, Cassie was set to marry a soldier that was stationed at the fort. On her wedding day, she waited for her groom at the Holy Trinity Church. However, he never showed up. When the carriage driver came to pick up the soldier for the wedding ceremony, it was discovered that he shot himself. Apparently, the soon-to-be groom had a fight with another soldier in the fort about his marriage to Cassie Allen. The fight was about the legality of the marriage itself. Apparently, he was already married to another woman who was locked up in a Bermuda psychiatric hospital. When the carriage driver made the discovery, he went over to the church to let Cassie know what happened. When he told her of the tragedy, apparently she couldn't accept it and she went hysterical. To this day, it is said that she haunts the grounds of the fort, walking up and down, looking for her lost love. And that, Adara, is the end of my story. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I have many more lined up for future videos, so I'm pretty excited about that. If you like this video, it would be lovely if you gave it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel so you're notified whenever we release a video. We upload every Tuesdays and Thursdays, so also hit that notification bell so you're notified. Also, feel free to comment below what you thought of this story, any suggestions you have for us, um, perhaps another story you want us to cover. We'd be happy to hear any of your suggestions or comments. Also subscribe to our hair in my mouth. Hello, what's up? It's your girl, K Town. Um, why are you so obsessed with me, girl? I wanna know. Okay, apparently it's in focus. Okay, hopefully it's in focus. Are my arms okay? Hopefully they are. Hi, I can't see because it took me too long to set up and. Now the four o'clock light is in my window. Okay, back. Oh no!